NBC's incoming premier is vowing to transform Vancouver's downtown east side. This, as the head of the union that represents local bus drivers, says members are reporting issues along East Hastings. Val Beerman says tents have popped up around bus stops, making it hard for drivers to open the doors for passengers. Sometimes there's no room for a stroller to pick up a wheelchair to pull in safely. So it's just like in the vicinity of the bus stop area where it makes our job more difficult. And on the bus, man says there's increasing aggression aimed at bus drivers. There were some assaults happened beginning of the year. Our buses were being shot. We were not sure in the beginning what it was. Uh, thank God there was a BB gun. Uh, so now the suspect, uh, they have identified who this individual is. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, uh, even three, four days ago, one of our member, uh, without he didn't even say or do, uh, just doing his job, uh, when we come from home, uh, we come to do our job and go home safe. And he's doing his job. And uh, one of the passengers opened a beer can and poured all over him. He says these kinds of incidents are becoming too frequent. And it was, it's been very concerning from like a long time, but it is, it's sort of caught our, uh, it's happening almost sometimes once a week. One is too many. Like, we can't just let this keep happening. Uh, uh, it's our, like, I, 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 I fear for my members' safety. David Eby will be sworn in Friday as BC's 37th Premier. He says his government will take charge of restoring the downtown east side and safety in the area needs to improve. Mann says he's flagged his concerns with management at the Coast Mountain Bus Company, but this is bigger than that. Obviously, these people need help. And, uh, I mean, the, the street is not a solution. So, but also at the same time, my job is to make sure uh, when my members drive through that area that they feel safe. He says hard barriers on all buses would help. Right now, according to TransLink, just 60% of the fleet has them. We come to work to do our job safely and as a as a as an employer it's their responsibility to keep our members safe and it's my job also i want to make sure my members feel safe it, it, it's becoming a very very like huge safety concern for us in victoria lisa yusta city news